It's the longest you've seen somebody on this 27 diet. years. Wow. Times he's tried to come off, he's had some seizures, and just goes right back on it. You know, the ones who are seizure-free, you kind of feel you should at least try to come off. So, so tell us, are there any long-term side effects for staying on this, this diet? I mean, it is high cholesterol, it is high fat, right. so... Right, so we, we're very frank with families that this is not an alternative, organic, holistic kind of therapy. Uh, we tell them that this is a medical therapy, and just like any medical therapy, it has side effects. Do you, do you usually recommend supplements? Oh, absolutely. Uh, vitamins, minerals, calcium, vitamin D, selenium, these are vitamins and minerals really not in enough abundance on the diet for the children to get by without them, so they have to take those supplements. It's not safe for them to start the diet without consulting Absolutely with a not. neurologist or, or a... They need to make sure their neurologist agrees. There may be a reason why they shouldn't go on the diet. Either they can't handle the fat or they have something metabolically that could be dangerous. Um, but no, the family shouldn't do it on their own. That's absolutely for sure. While you were at the Ketogenic Diet Center, were you taking off all the medication well? Not right just, away. Not right away. So they, they basically right. keep what you have, they add this this. And new they component. start weaning you. And for Nadia, she was having trouble adjusting to the diet in the beginning anyway, and we had a lot of vomiting because of that. Since Nadia's been on the ketogenic diet, have you observed changes in the frequency or the types of seizures? Well, I, right away we saw that she was no longer having the tonic-clonic seizures. And at that moment, it was worth any bit of effort that we had to put into it because those were the most debilitating seizures for Nadia. We could live with atypical absence seizures. It was good to just deal with something that wasn't debilitating. But in the meantime, she was meeting milestones that we were told may never happen for her. I know she started the diet November after she turned two. And by June, which was two months before her birthday, she sat without support for the very first time. We were at the beach and we could not believe it. It was amazing to us. It was something we thought we would never get. Uh, she started signing more. She started engaging and interacting and cognitively, we're still not really sure what she's capable of. She's shown that she has memory and that she remembers things that we would not think that she would and that she has a sense of humor and that she understands things in her world. Would you have any, what would your tips be for a family, say they want to go to the ketogenic diet center, what would you say to them? Be patient, because you don't know until you try. And even if it's a failure, you can cross it off your list and say that I provided the best opportunity for my child. I would say get organized. I, I often feel like I can't control Nadia's health, what will happen to her tomorrow, what will happen to her next week. But I can control the clutter around that. I think one of the important um, tips is it's not really just about the kid, it's about the parents as well. It's not just about the, the, the child's compliance, but the parents' compliance mm -hmm. with the diet as well. I know uh, we were at, I think it was Thanksgiving, and um, one of our family members said, you know, they felt really bad that Nadia couldn't have any of the candy and the, the cookies and stuff going on. Um, and, and Nadia signed together, and she signed she's together because she doesn't really care. The food's never been an important thing for her. She's together with the rest of the family, and that's what's important to her. As you've heard from Dr. Kossoff and seen in little Nadia and her parents, there are a lot of very determined, very enthusiastic people hard at work battling Lennox Gusto. We hope that by bringing you Nadia's story and Dr. Kossoff's expertise, we've given you a clear understanding of the ketogenic diet and that you're encouraged to discuss it with your healthcare team. And of course, I'd like to thank them all once more for their time, their insight, and their inspiration. If you would like a free copy of Dr. Kossoff's book, Ketogenic Diets, it's easy to get. Sign up to receive email updates from livingwithlgs.com. Just click the registration link on this page. You'll get the book free, and you'll always be the first to know about future LGS forums. For the LGS Forum, I'm Marlene O'Hare.